Why arm takeoffs? Because you no longer have to hassle the whole support arm that is usually necessary with a no arm takeoff. It's not a big hassle, I agree. But it happens every so often, particularly if you're milking for many hours. You know, what happens? The machine comes off automatically, the whole support arm is still out there, and the milker forgets to pull it back. And by golly, the cows climb over it. Maybe we should touch on another point related to the whole support arm. You see, the whole support arm is quite rigid. So you go ahead, you attach the teeth cups, you position them just right, you put the milk hose through the loop on the whole support arm, and so far, so good. What happens if the cow moves? If the cow moves, the machine now hangs crooked or biased either one way or the other way, depending on which way the cow moved. As opposed, as opposed to the arm on an arm takeoff, which is very flexible. You see, the arm on an arm takeoff is rigid vertically, but it is flexible like a rat's tail horizontally. And if the cow moves, the arm moves with it, and therefore, the machine on the typical cow always hangs straight down. It's the best way to go. You see, with a whole support arm, every milker hangs the machine a little bit different to his preferences. If you are the only one milking your cows, no problem whatsoever. But if you are milking three times a day, again in a larger dairy, six, seven, eight, nine different milkers, everybody hangs the machine a little bit different. The nice part with the arm is that the machine always hangs straight down, and when the cow moves, the machine still hangs straight down.